their garage. Maggie and I are out in the rain. I'm getting sprinkled on. I love this, uh, but I'm doing this for you. <laughs> I thought I would do a video on how to remove your emblem from the front of your Maverick uh, for whatever reason. Maybe you want to put a different kind on. I did an illuminated one, and that's going to be part of the video. But getting this thing off was not super simple, but it was way more simple than some of the videos on the internet that I saw. One of the videos that I saw said you had to take off the inner wheel wells, take off the full bumper front cover, uh, all kinds of screws, nuts, and bolts to get it off, and that's not true. Um, you can basically work off the top. It gives you enough room to work. Uh, pulling it backwards, uh, you can get it all off without taking all that other garbage off. So it is easier than that, but it is kind of a, a pain in the butt. So what you will need if you're going to remove the emblem, you'll need a heat gun because there's some super sticky crap on the back of that emblem. You'll need a little plastic pry bar. Those work really well um, for parts of it. And, and an electric ratchet with about this long of an extension. You can use a deep well or single well, uh, short socket. It really doesn't matter. But this will make your life a whole lot easier. Now this is a quarter inch Milwaukee, which is the best one ever made. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, but you can use any kind, DeWalt, uh, Black & Decker, Ryobi, any of that. Anything that's got a ratchet that you can reach in there and get a little bit of length out of because it will make it much, much easier to take off this one plastic piece on the inside. Now, at first I thought you could maybe heat up the emblem and just pry it out with some plastic, uh, but that is not the case, I can tell you that. It's got two 10 millimeter bolts. Let me show you right here. Uh, two 10 millimeter bolts on the back of it in addition to the super sticky glue. Now the trivia on the emblem they use on the Maverick, it is the exact same emblem they use on the 17, 18, 19, and 20 uh, Ford Escape. Same emblem and the Ford Interceptor made for police. And then the Maverick they use this one here too. Um, the Lariat and the XLT have a similar upper grill portion that's separate and the XLs are all built into one. Now, I haven't taken an XL apart, but what I'm assuming, once you get the grill that uh, pushed back a little bit, like I'll show you, pretty much you can take the 10 millimeter bolts off and uh, heat it up, take it off from the front. On the Lariat and the XLT, you take off this whole upper part of the grill. Now, I will say this, is you want to be careful with that. You know how much that thing costs? 350 bucks without shipping, without tax, without anything else added to it. Ford gets $350 for this trim on the top section here. Without an emblem or anything else, 350 bucks. Um, and you wonder why they're totaling trucks out. <laughs> so anyway, um, I did get it out. I wanted to show you this, so I do know what I'm talking about as far as like, can I get it out without doing any damage, because absolutely I did. So here we go. That's what the Ford emblem looks like lit up at night. Looks pretty nice though, really. This is the seven inch that I'm working on. I'm trying not to get rained on here. now. If you measure the factory emblem, it's about six and a half inches across. And when I started doing research on it, I found out that there are indeed many, many different sizes of the Ford emblem. Um, this one is like five inches, and you can buy this one on eBay. And the one that I ended up going with is seven inches. There's only really two sizes, this one and this one, that you can get for 20 bucks on eBay. Um, this one is a seven inch. Now, you can kind of compare the size, the emblem itself the blue part is about the same size as the chrome piece all the way around. So, because this is inset and this this is not, I figured out that this would be pretty close to covering the grill surround size that this goes into. Um, close enough for government work anyway on the truck. It's not a perfect fit, but it barely comes out on either edge like almost not noticeable. So, that's why I went with the 7 inch. It was $20, $20 shipped to the house. I got it from some dude in Houston. Putco makes these also, but they're like 250 bucks. So for 20 bucks, uh, I thought I would go with this one, uh, the Ying Wang Chinese Super Emblem. <laughs> and I think it looks good. Let's get back to taking it off. All right, here's how we're gonna get this grill piece off without removing the front bumper cover, anything under the wheels or anything else like that. Um, you got one, two, three, four bolts there. Right, and those are 10 millimeter. And then we got one, two, three, four, five across the top here. Now we don't have to take those out yet. Take your four out here, right? And you can see that tab and this tab. That's what holds this uh, onto this back plastic piece and the radiator. We're not gonna move that. Now, it's helpful 
to take your plastic um, pry bar and pull back on this plastic piece here because what happens is once we push these in and start gently pulling back right this whole assembly this your upper trim molding will pop back with this plastic piece on then you're going to take off your one two three four five and then we're going to take off this plastic piece which is bolted into the grill itself and that's why you need an extension just to take those bolts out but that's all there really is to it you're just going to gently pull back this will pop out of those there's clips that go around here and here let me show you what they look like with the cover off you've got clips here that hold it on once you pull it forward and pop your clips off here you can see the seven millimeter bolts that are in there that you have to take off there's quite a few of them going across the back side um, the piece that I have in my hand there is the uh, inner portion that bolts up to the back side of the grill when you take out those 12 7 millimeter bolts that basically just lifts out of there it's really easy to take out as soon as you've got that out you can look behind it and you can see those clips that go back through the grill itself and I had to take like a little uh, pocket knife and just kind of go in between and work it one side to the other just gently pulling out as you work those clips and they'll just pop right on out and then you'll have it in your hand the uh, upper grill piece now you can see that there's plenty of flex once you get the top part off to move it in and out without breaking anything so here's how I got it off. I put the masking tape down and then I took some razor blades and slid it in between uh, the tape and the emblem. Took a heat gun. Took a heat gun and heated up the back side pretty well right here in the back. Right in here in the center portion. Got it good and warm and then pried up. And then once it started popping up, I took a plastic spreader, put in there and then just worked it around and then the emblem popped out. So that's how I removed the, the uh, emblem without destroying it or scratching up um, the front end piece. This is the new one that is illuminated. And I've got to determine how I'm going to mount this on there. But the 7 inch, I believe, but the 7 inch I think is going to look just fine on the surface like that. I don't think you'll ever know the difference. Now this one doesn't have bolts or anything and it does have um, the stickum right here and I don't think that'll cause an issue but um, I'm going to have to put a little bit more holding power here so I'm going to get some clear silicone and put a couple of dabs of good clear silicone on it, put it down, tape it, and let it dry overnight. My camera jacked up on me. Uh, I went ahead and took off the 3M tape cover, lined it up carefully, put three big gobs of clear silicone in here um, from my little tube here. Pressed it in where it compressed them down. Now all I got to do is put my two pieces of tape on here and let it dry overnight and it should be ready to rock in the morning and this is the factory one and then that's the illuminated one I think it's gonna look great now the other advantage of doing it this way is if I want to take this off um, I can pull heat it up with a heat gun just pull it off break that silicone and I can stick this back in there maybe silicone it in a little bit without taking everything apart and uh, basically not put the bolts in the back because I don't think you really need those um, especially if you've got some clear silicone slap the regular emblem back in uh, at any point that you get tired of this thing or it burns out or whatever but um, this is the seven inch one and I think it looks great and there it is illuminated up I think it looks excellent oh awesome uh, okay so I soldered the wires and then I capped them off I'm going to put some tape over it because this is going to be pretty inaccessible when I put it on, but that looks awesome. And I got some wire that's a little bit heavier gauge to connect up to the under hood lights, but it's super solid on there. It's not going anywhere, so it's ready to install again. So I'm happy with that. These are the clips that are on the back of it, and they are kind of a pain in the butt, but um, they should clip right back in, no problem. I am going to put one hole right here. 
um, for the wiring to go in and then up around. So that's that's really the only modification to the center portion of the grill. All right, I'm going to run the wire to the middle. And it'll come up through this little side section here. And then just kind of get over here. Get my clips lined up. Should be right there. And they should, you just want to clip the middle ones in, not the outer ones yet. This is the inner piece that I took off, so I'll just go ahead and slide that back out. Make sure my wires are right where I want it. There we go. I found the easiest way to get them on was use this about that size of an extension and that clears all the, the plastic pieces going across um, that was the easiest way to get those bolts back in that's really kind of the hardest part right there I'll finish up putting those back in Woo, almost done all right we're about there now you got these two little flappers here that you're gonna press down and kind of feed it into the slot so it goes in and then you're going to just kind of start pushing backwards that'll clip in that'll clip in those will clip in awesome now we've got to put our bolts across the top here I think that looks great. It'd be hard to tell that's not the factory emblem. And the next clip will be at night. And that's really the whole purpose of this. And that's what it looks like illuminated at night. I wired in the front emblem with the light strip that I installed. And just capped it off here. Those two, I need to clean that up a little bit. It looks kind of janky. But, I mean, it's such a low voltage. Who cares? And, uh... So, and this is what it looks like in the daylight. I think it looks just about like factory. It'd be hard to tell. If you walk by, there's no way you would tell, that's for sure. All right, so that's going to be it. I think the emblem for 20 bucks looks outstanding. I didn't break anything or damage anything. Pull on the grill out just a little bit to take that off. And I didn't take off the whole bumper, um, the wheel wells, all that garbage. It was much, much quicker and much easier. Like I said, if you've got the tools to do it, uh, it is not that difficult. Uh, as far as like finagling the uh, emblem on there, I think it looks good. And the beauty of it is, because it's just silicone in there behind it, and there's no bolts holding it on, just some 3M tape, I can pull it off from the outside and not take anything else back off of there, uh, cut the wires, stick the old emblem back in there, and just use a little silicone to hold it in and get rid of those stupid bolts. So there you go. So nothing lost, nothing gained. If you decide that you don't like it or it starts peeling, melts, whatever, right? You can put the old emblem back in. We haven't damaged it. Everything's good to go. So awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. I actually think it looks pretty good. Keep watching. I appreciate you subscribing. Any questions or comments, post them below. I've got some more videos coming up. I got Jeeps. I got Toyotas. I've got a Ferrari. Not really a Ferrari. It's a Fiero Ferrari. Please, you can polish a turd. 
it's still a turd. Uh, so keep watching. I appreciate it. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.